How is it going everybody? It is I, Visual I. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we are playing in the VGC 2018 format as opposed to playing doubles OU against some uber noobs who don't know what they're doing. Instead we are playing against some realistic players who actually know how to play the game. So as you can see by my team, I'm using Delcaddy and Liopard Smeargle because I'm trying to have some fun. <laughs> Speaking of having fun, my opponent's team. Wow. He's using Komo'o. You seem to be having fun. How will double cats be able to combat the fair and balanced Komo'o Z? Totally balanced. Alrighty, so Tyler VGC is indeed wearing the fuck by Komo'o outfit while using Komo'o, just like a stereotypical Komo'o user. So I'm gonna lead off with my double cat, which sounds really funny when they're sent out together because they both like. Ah! and unison it's funny he leads up with komo'o and gengar both legit shinies by the way lies are you fucking kidding me? i'm just kind of like afraid of komo'o because i don't have double fairy types to counter it you know i'm a boosting double targeting 185 base power z move which is balanced by the way people are like oh just run double fairies to counter komo'o it's totally like balanced okay it's not broken okay okay so i'm gonna go for assist turn one and by the way assist targets yourself so basically I don't know who I'm going to hit with my assist v create. So thankfully, I get the coin flip and I'm able to hit Gengar with my assist v create because I could have targeted into Komo'o, which resists v create. But thankfully, Liopar targets the right Pokemon, knocks him out of Gengar with assist v create. And I'm probably like, wait, how is Delcaddy going to be able to kill Komo'o with v create? Obviously, it resists v create, but this is where you are wrong because normalized turns v create into a normal type move. So basically, this v create is stronger than a z move that Delcaddy can output. So down goes Komo'o as well. We got two KOs with our freaking cat core. In comes Incineroar, the furry wrestler, because it's not VGC without Incineroar or Lander's T being on the opponent's team. In comes Clefairy as well. And from here, my opponent got so demoralized by Double Kitty that he actually clicks the forfeit button. So we're going to defeat my first opponent pretty easily with freaking dual cats. Alrighty, my second opponent today has a very fat looking team with, of course, Landorus T and Incineroar. And by the way, Landorus Therian form now has higher usage than Incineroar does in VGC. So of course, Smogon Jesus does reign over the furry wrestlers. This time around, since I know my opponent has double intimidate, I decide not to lead off with either Lyophard or Delcaddy because these Pokemon are very prone to intimidate and my opponent has intimidate stacking. So I'm not going to have the easiest time leading off with those Pokemon in this battle. So this time around, I let off of my Sharpedo and my Smeargle, which are both supportive Pokemon, but you'll see why this is not that big of a deal. I put this up with the Furry Wrestler and Lander is thick, of course, because that's the VGC specialty. We're going to get double intimidated, which kind of sucks for Sharpedo because Sharpedo can't really output that much damage, but that's not that big of a deal because the Sharpedo is not meant to output damage because the Sharpedo set has to be very particular so the assist V create happens every single time. So that's the thing with assist. You have to make a team with moves that cannot be drawn by assist. Otherwise, you won't get V create every turn. That's kind of unfortunate because that's the whole idea behind the strategy. You just use V create and VGC. And since you can't use Victini in VGC, that kind of sucks for uh, the cat stuff. But you have to use it on Smeargle instead. So he's actually going to make a nice play and double target into my Smeargle, predicting protect on Sharpedo. Very nice play on my opponent's part. Though the freaking Smeargle is just meant to be death fodder anyway because it has supportive moves like follow me. Don't get me wrong, but I can't do much outside of that. So it dying is not too big of a deal. I'm gonna bring in my Delcaddy here. And I know the lander is he's probably choice scarf because it carries superpower which isn't typically a move you see on landers there in forms in vgc so i'm gonna go for my gozi move with sharpedo which is actually going to force targeting onto sharpedo because it is z destiny bound it looks like a pseudo follow me it's not priority so you don't get the priority guaranteed you know retargeted retargeting rather but Lander is going to be force target into Sharpedo with superpower. He's going to obviously one shot my Sharpedo because Sharpedo is hella frail and Lander C is very, very strong. But that means Sharpedo is going to trade one for one with Lander C, which is exactly what I wanted because that means that my Delcaddy doesn't have to worry about freaking assist targeting the wrong Mon. And so we're going to assist target ourselves. But since it's only 1v1, I'm going to be able to hit this freaking Incineroar with a stab normalized V create with choice fan. So this Incineroar is going to get demolished by my V create because there is no intimidates to stop me there so down goes the furry wrestler to the V create spam which is really good for me and now I'm going to be able to bring in my life hard to counteract the rest of my opponent's team I know I'd probably bring Mega Venusaur because I had a top of Coco on my team but the rest of his team I had no idea what he was going to bring and comes my Lodic and the Mega Venusaur so these are some very fat Pokemon but Delcaddy will be able to KO both of these mods because Delcaddy with normalized choice span V create hits harder than a Z move can so 
that's pretty impressive from Del Caddy, in my personal opinion. So Mega Venusaur is going to Mega Evolve here. And I'm going to protect my Liopard because I know he's probably going to target into Liopard. And I'm going to go block the Skull, thankfully, with my Liopard. My opponent is actually going to outspeed my Del Caddy, which wasn't what I was counting on. But we're actually going to live at 3 HP, which is really good. I'm going to go for the assist here. Whatever I target here is going to just die. going to go for V Create. Miss. <laughs> Alrighty, my third opponent today is Smogon Sucks. Now, question of the day. Why do you guys think this guy thinks Smogon Sucks? Is it A, he can't break Sleep Claws with a Moongus, B, he can't use Mega Kangaskhan and OU, C, because he's wearing the Fuck by Komo outfit, or D, because of Realist if I said so? Let me know in the comments which letter you think this is. But without further ado, let's hop into this battle against Smogon Sucks. I did off of my Del Caddy and Smeargle because I figured Mega Kangaskhan was leading off because it has fake out. So, as you can see, my opponent is wearing the Fuck by Komo outfit. I feel like my opponents today are just wearing these outfits just to trigger me because my previous opponent had like the basic bitch like bucket hat and then this guy has the Fuck by Komo outfit. The first opponent had the Fuck by Komo outfit, so I mean, my opponents have no style. So, Mega Kangaskhan's gonna lead off and I let off my Smeargle just because when people see Smeargle, they're like, we have to kill this shit because Smeargle's gonna spore my shit. It's gonna freaking use fake out, it's gonna use follow me, it's gonna be a hindrance. So my opponent, is going to go for fake out. I go for helping cam, which goes before fake out. So I pretty much get a guaranteed kill here. My opponent's gonna go for the fake out, targeting into the smear goal. And I have no idea who I'm going to be targeting with this assist V create. I'm really hoping it's Mega King's on. If it's Cresselia, it's not too big of a deal. And we're gonna go for the V create. Who are we targeting here? Delcat is gonna go for the V create. And we hit the Kangaskhan, and that's going to Oko Kangaskhan, especially with Helping Hand. So down goes Mega Kangaskhan, one hit wonder with the V Create. Down goes Mega King, very good for us. My opponent's gonna go for the Psychic, double targeting into Smeargle, because like I said, Smeargle has Follow Me, but it acts like a pseudo Follow Me user itself without having to use Follow Me, just because people just target into Smeargle when they say Delicati, they're like, Delicati is just a waste of life, so we're not gonna target into Delicati. And then Delicati just one-shots their ass, so it works out. Now I'm gonna bring in my Clefairy, which can also Follow Me, and Follow Me cannot be drawn by Assist, and neither can Helping Hand, so it's a nice little addition to this strat that I can use in VGC. My opponent's gonna go for Helping Hand, and I'm like, oh shit, dude, that's really bad for me, so I'm gonna go for Helping Hand, and since my speed def is lowered, I'm pretty sure my Del is gonna die, but my opponent's gonna go for Muddy Water. We dodge it with a Clefairy. It really sucks because I really want to dodge it with my Del but I'm hoping Del can live this Muddy Water. As Del does live at 14 health, I'm gonna go for the assist, and whoever I hit here with this V Create is going to get freaking bot. So I'm gonna go for the V Create here. Hope I can hit the Feeny at the very least, and we do hit Feeny, which normally resists V Create, but freaking normalized V Create just freaking smacks people. And on top of Feeny gets one shot by V Create. Del just making these standard ass VGC mines just fall over one after the other. In comes the Amoongus here, which is kind of scary, but this thing can die to his regular V create, so it's not too big of a deal he has that. Gonna go for the follow me here to force my opponent to target into my Clefairy. My opponent's gonna go for Psychic, targeting into a legend of my Delicated, but we're able to redirect it with our Clefairy. Gonna go for the assist here. And it doesn't matter who I hit at this point because both of these Pokemon are pretty damn passive. So I'm gonna go for V Create here. Hopefully we can hit the Amoongus, but we actually end up hitting Cresselia instead. And it still does about half health to Cresselia, which is pretty impressive. I thought it would do a bit more, but I'm assuming that Cresselia is heavily invested in defense. My opponent tries to spore me and Misty Terrain, like, bruh. No wonder why I think Smogon sucks. You suck as a player. No offense. I mean, this guy probably doesn't watch my channel, so no offense to you, but like, don't spore in Misty Terrain, fam. Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Gonna go for the assist here, and I'm gonna go for V Create and just freaking bop something again. V Create is going to target the Cresselia again. I was hoping we can hit the Amoongus here, but that's fine. Cresselia again KO'd is perfectly fine with me. Down goes the Cresselia. And my opponent's going to go for the Clear Smog, which I thought he would go for Sludge Bomb, but Clear Smog works as well. I'm assuming Minimize is just really annoying. We live at 69 health, TDX, DDDD. And uh, now my opponent is just pretty much forced it in here. I do have minus 3 speed, but Moongus typically have very low speed, so we're actually able to outdo with Delicati regardless. I'm gonna go for the assist here, and I'm gonna go for the freaking Stab, Normalize, V Create, and this is just going to freaking bop this Amoongus, and Amoongus is going to get one shot as well, and my opponent lost all four mons to fucking Delcaddy. 
Alrighty, my fourth opponent who has a name I cannot pronounce actually has a pretty threatening team with, you know, Togedemaru, Charizard, Snorlax, and Landorus T. And this time around, I decided to not bring Delicated because the spotlight was all on Delicated these past few games, and Liopard didn't get much spotlight. So this time around, we're bringing Liopard with a shit ton of support because my opponent has a certain Pokemon which Liopard really likes seeing. So let's hop into this battle against the person who I can't pronounce because I don't speak. Is that Japanese? I hope so. I'm sorry if I don't know languages properly. I don't really study foreign languages all that much. I don't know a bit of Espanol, but other than that, I don't know many foreign languages. So I lead off my double dark type. He leads off with Charizard and Togedemaru. And since I know Togedemaru normally carries Fake Out, because I have used Togedemaru before on Showdown, I haven't really used it much on like VDC 2018 ladder itself, but I have used it before. I know it gets Fake Out. I have faced against it before. I know it gets Fake Out. So I'm assuming he's going to Fake Out something. And so I'm actually going to go for the Double Protect. My Liar part doesn't have Choice Band because of Item Claws, unfortunately, has the Life Orb. As you saw in the first battle, gonna go for Dollar Protect because Sharpedo needs the speed boost to make sure that I can outspeed Zard. My opponent is going to go for Fake Out, which is fine. We're able to actually protect ourselves with Liopard. He's gonna go for Heat Wave here. And, you know, double target does work out because all protect allows you to scout what your opponent wants to do, block fake outs, and all that good stuff. I'm sure any VGC player knows about all of protect, both going for protect twice in a row and just protecting with both your mons. My opponent's gonna switch out of the token Amara, which is kind of surprising since it has a pretty good matchup, unless he knows my tactics. It's gonna bring in the Snorlax, and I'm like, oh, yes, honey, but I decided to switch out, and I'm like, wait, no, 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 no. I won the Snorlax against the Liopard matchup, but I bring in my Smeargle. I'm gonna go for the Go Z move because I want this Charizard to kill me because. I don't think I could one-shot this thing even with the freaking Sun Boosted V Create because of using this team on Showdown a bit. So I'm gonna go for the Z Destiny Bond, hoping to trade one for one with the Charizard. I should just die to Heat Wave realistically because I have like a zero HP and Spadef IV with like a freaking, is it Hasty Nature or is it Naive Nature? It's one or the other. But he's gonna go for Solar Beam anyway just to freaking knock out my Sharpedo. So I'll take it, man. That's going to kill me like a bajillion times overboard and that's perfectly fine with me because we're able to trade one for one with the Sharpedo and Charizard. And that's pretty much the Sharpedo's only job on this team because if I use any other moves on it, um, it's going to assist them, and I don't want that. It has Faint as well, and one other move I can't remember at the current moment. I'm gonna bring in my Liopard here. He's gonna bring in the Togedemaru, and I'm like, yes, I have Smeargle against Togedemaru. He's going to fake out the Smeargle, and even if he doesn't, Snatch goes before Fake Out, as you guys have learned in the previous VGC battles. We're gonna go for Snatch here. If he goes for Fake Out, I'm perfectly fine with that, but of course, he's going to fake out my Smeargle because no one likes Smeargle. Smeargle acts like a pseudo follow me itself. My opponent goes for Belly Drum. We're gonna steal that shit away. That is why Liopard card was very good in this game because my opponent had a belly drummer and I have snatch which can also not be drawn by assist so we're gonna snatch that belly drum now I'm gonna go for follow me and actually force the opponent to target into Smeargle as opposed to the opponent willingly target into Smeargle. My opponent's gonna go for Zing Zap which is going to hit my Smeargle and that's probably going to knock me out but Smeargle actually lives that surprise and I'm gonna go for the plus six thief hopefully we can knock out Snorlax but Snorlax lives at a sliver of health. I was gonna try to go for the assist V create but I didn't want to target into the wrong mon and so I forced myself to go for thief and Snorlax lives because Snor most Snorlax run max defense with the belly drum set, I'm pretty sure. I don't personally know I don't run Snorlax very much because I don't use standard stuff all that much, but I'm pretty sure most Snorlax run like really bulky sets, so it's understandable how it lived a freaking 60 base power thief. I'm gonna go for Protect here with my Liopard because I don't want to die. And my opponent's gonna go for Zing Zap, targeting into Liopard. And I'm gonna go for the freaking V Create in the sun. Hopefully, we can knock out the Snorlax at that little smidgen of health. And Snorlax is going to go down. So, at the very least, freaking Smeargle itself got one kill. So, like. Yeah, at least Smeargle got some spotlight, even though it's meant to be just useless on this team. Down goes the Snorlax, Sun's going to fade away. I'm pretty sure the Sun was the only reason why I was able to knock out that Snorlax, to be honest. In comes Landorus Thick. Of course, on every single VGC team, it's either the Furry Wrestler or Landorus Thick. And uh, I'm hoping that we can target into Landorus Thick here with the assist to be create. Just gonna go for Follow Me here, because if he has Earthquake, he's probably not gonna go for it. Though he actually has an Air Balloon, um... Togedemaru, so he might go for Earthquakes here, here, so it would ignore the follow me. I'm gonna go for the V Create here, I'm sorry, I'm kinda like slurring a lot because um, I'm really energetic right now, I just drank coffee, and yeah, I have a lot of energy, so I apologize for that. And plus, this kind of team gets me pumped up. We're going to one-shot the Landers to you with V Create, because we were at plus five attack, and it is like 180 base power, 170 base power, so of course it's just gonna die. My opponent's gonna go for Zing Zap and target into the Smeargle, thanks to follow me, and down goes the Smeargle, but at this point, my opponent has lost three Mons, and um, I'm gonna bring in Clefairy here. Or, uh, did he lose three Mons? I actually lost track, but I think, yeah, Togedemaru is his last Mon, and I'm just gonna go for Helping Hand here, because I know this thing does not have Focus Ash because of the fact that he has um, Air Balloon, and most Togedemaru's don't run Sturdy and VGC, they run Lightning Rod to support like Charizard Y. I 100% knew it was Lightning Rod, okay? So I go for V Create here, 
if he had the freaking Focus Sash or whatever, or Sturdy, then I guess he can have that win. But thankfully, he doesn't have the Focus Sash. Assist V-Create is going to demolish that Togedemaru, and we're going to beat my opponent thanks to the Snatch Belly Drum combo. Alrighty, my fifth opponent, Sway? Shway? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Has a pretty threatening team. He has a zoom rule, which means I'm bringing Lie apart again. And I decided to lead off on my Smearl this time around because, like I said earlier, people just always target into Smearl because they're like, oh shit, it's gonna spore my ass, it's gonna be annoying, and so they just try and target down Smearl before we can do its gimmick. But the gimmick isn't on Smeargle, the gimmick is on everything else, and Smeargle is just the reason why the gimmick is able to work because V Create cannot be used on Victini because Victini is banned from VDC, and Rayquaza, like the event, it's not VDC 2016, so you can't use that shit. So I'm gonna switch out of my Smeargle's Hormone because I want to keep my Sash intact. I'm gonna bring in my Sharpedo, knowing he's going to fake out into my Smeargle because everyone underestimates the cats. They always go for Smeargle. That's what I found out with this team and I've lost like a bajillion games with this team and every time, or at least like 95% of the time, they fake out the Smeargle. And so I'm gonna go for Snatch turn one. Even if he fakes out Lyapar, we do go for Snatch before fake out because that's how Snatch works. I believe Snatch and Helping Hand go before fake out and Protect does as well, obviously, but fake out does so much damage to my Sharpedo. My opponent's gonna go for Belladrum. When I snatched the Belladrum, I was like totally gagged. Like I'm talking gagged. Like when I say gagged- Then we're gonna snatch that shit away from Azu, so I'm gonna be able to snatch that Belladrum away. Very nice for me. And uh, at this point, I'm really hoping my opponent or at least I hope my live heart targets the right mod, but I'm gonna go for Protect here just because I need to get my speed increased with my Sharpedo so I can go for the Z Destiny bond properly because I'm pretty sure King's gonna has a higher base speed than regular Sharpedo. Unless he's Adamant Nature, he might be Adamant Nature just judging based off that fake out damage, but I'm not gonna risk it. We're gonna double Protect Z, he's gonna double target into my live heart after seeing I freaking snatch his freaking belly drum, I would do the same thing. But unfortunately for my opponent, I can go for Z Destiny bond, but I know Aqua Jet's going to outspeed that, so I go for Assist here. I'm really hoping we can go for the V Curate into a Azumarill. If we hit Kangaskhan, that's fine, but I really want to hit the Azumarill as we're able to hit Azumarill. One shot Azumarill with a resisted V Create. We're going to one shot the Azumarill with V Create and its own belly drum. Down goes Azu, and my opponent's going to be forced to target into my Sharpedo because we're going to go for the Z Destiny Bond. So she was going to bring wider in her hands. I don't even know what I can even describe that stance as. But she's a spoopy ghost. Gonna go for the Z Destiny Bond again because that's the only reason to use Sharpedo on this team. Gonna go for Z Destiny Bond here and my opponent of course going to go for the uh, double edge. Gonna be forced target into Sharpedo and that's going to knock out Sharpedo but we're gonna trade one for one with the broken Mega Kangaskhan. So down goes Mega Kangaskhan to Destiny Bond. Beautifully done and now my Liopard has plus six attack and we still have assist V create to guarantee hit something which is really good. Now I'm going to bring in my Tapu Koko as my opponent's going to reveal his last mod is going to be Landers Thick. Of course, Landers in every game, not only in OU, but in VDC as well. In comes Heatran. I'm like, oh shit, he has a Heatran. Liveheart, please target the right mod because like I mentioned earlier, many times in this video already, assist targets yourself. And so when you go for V Create, you cannot choose your target. So I can either V Create the Heatran and lose the game, or I can V Create the freaking Landers. I'm going to go for Double Protect here. Just scout my opponent wants to do. I'm assuming he might have a Z move, but I don't think he's gonna go for it here because he doesn't really have to to knock out my Lion Part. He's gonna go for Earth Power with Landers too, because who needs to use his physical attack when his special attack is lower, right? He's gonna go for double Earth Power, which is really good for me, as you'll see why in just a moment. But I'm gonna go for assist here. Pray to fucking god we V create the Landers T. And thankfully, Live Hard does V-Create the Landers T. And so Landers T is going to get bought by a plus 5 V-Create. Down goes Landers T to that V-Create. And uh, I'm so happy we did not V-Create into Train. That would have been really bad for me. But if we did, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. Because as you'll see here, my Tapu Koko has Mirror Move. We're going to Mirror Move, get the Earth Power. And he turns going to freaking get bopped. And he turns going to get one shot. And we're going to actually demolish my opponent with this freaking squad right here. So that was a good game to sway. I don't know how to pronounce that, and let's move on to the last battle. Alrighty, so Hannah actually has a very threatening team for me to deal with. She has Tabule and Mega Metagross, a very deadly combo to deal with. She has a Mungus Tyranitar as well, which is kind of scary for my team to deal with as well. This time around, I actually decided to bring Inferni as opposed to Delicate because I knew I would get comments being like, why didn't you use Inferni by this team? Inferni has step you create. So I decided to bring Inferni for these last few battles, and thankfully, I brought Inferni if the one battle my opponent has Tyranitar, so at the very least, we have a way to deal with Tyranitar because without Inferni, the best way I have to deal with Tyranitar is using my freaking Z Destiny Bond Sharpedo and praying that they target into the Sharpedo. I mean, obviously it forces you to do that, but still, that's just very scary to deal with. So he leads off with Lelia Metagross. No reason not to because it beats my Electric Terrain and it just, I have no counterplay to that 
at, you know, at first glance, I don't counterplay to that, but unfortunately for my opponents, I have memes on my side, so I need to get terrain control because Prankster Assist will get blocked by Psychic Terrain because of how Psychic Terrain works. Very balanced mechanic, so I go for Electric Terrain to knock out Psychic Terrain, and now my opponent's going to Mega Evolve with Mega Metagross. No reason not to. He might be able to live in the Assist V-Create because Mega Metagross is very, very bulky, though I honestly doubt that because if V-Create is like 180 base power or something like that, so I'm going to go for the Assist here. I'm going to go for the V-Create. It doesn't matter who I target here because both of these mods are going to die. Um, we're going to target Mega Metagross though, and that's going to get freaking demolished by V-Create. So down goes Mega Metagross. I was hoping we would target into Lele instead so he couldn't reset the uh, terrain control, but Mega Metagross dies, dying is pretty good for me as well. Down goes Mega Metagross, and my opponent decides to go for Psychic targeting into my top of Coco, which is very nice for me because that means we're going to be able to go for Assist V-Create some more, which is very nice. Now my opponent's going to bring in Tyranitar, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm really hoping we don't target Tyranitar with Assist V-Create because if we do, well, Tyranitar resists it for one, and for for two, dark types are immune to prankster moves, which means V-Create will do nothing. So we're gonna go for the assist here, V-Create. Unfortunately, we target Tyranitar, which really sucks. And uh, I'm gonna go for Nature Power Thunderbolt here, because Nature Power cannot be drawn by assist. Thunderbolt's gonna do a decent chunk of damage to Tyranitar, but not quite enough. And Blast is going to knock out my Liopard. So not looking too good for me. Down goes Liopard. I was really hoping we would be able to target into Layla and kill it, but unfortunately, we target the wrong Mon. And Rock Slide is going to knock out my Tapu Koko. So it's not looking too good for me. It's currently 2v3, and my opponent's last Mon at this point, I actually had no idea what it was, and so... Yeah, it's not looking too good for me. Gonna bring in my Smeargle here, who still has the Sash intact, thankfully. And now I'm gonna bring in my Infernape. And my Infernape does have Focus Punch, which means I can't hit Tyranitar. Though, obviously, it's really hard to get Focus Punch off in singles, let alone VGC. So I did give my Infernape the Fighting Z Crystal. And my opponent is gonna go for Protect here with Tyranitar to scout out my attack, which kind of sucks that I did go for my Z move here. And Protect does make your Z move do 25% damage. So it lowers the damage potential by a lot, which I knew was gonna punch the air a bit. And Infernape's gonna get cloaked up in the Z Aura, and we're going to go for the All Out Pummeling. I'm hoping even through Protect we're going to be able to knock out the uh, the uh, Tyranitar, because if we don't, we pretty much auto lose because there's no way I'm going to get a Focus Punch off with my Infernape. And so we're going to go for All Out Pummeling here. It is 200 base power because it is a Z Focus Punch, and thankfully even through Protect, Tyranitar is going to get knocked out by All Out Pummeling, so that's really good for me because Tyranitar just hard counters this team. My best bet of dealing with Tyranitar outside of Inferni, if I didn't bring Inferni these last few battles, my best bet to deal with it would be to use freaking Z Destiny Bond Sharpedo and pray like Rock Slide Oko's me. That'd be my best bet, but thankfully the Z Focus Punch comes through. Down goes the freaking Tyranitar, and my opponent's last actually ends up being Amoongus, so that'd be Zapdos, but I guess my opponent didn't feel too afraid because I don't have like fire types all over my team. I only have Infernape, so gonna go for Follow Me here, force my opponent to target into me. My opponent thankfully does not go for Rage Powder, though I guess it's Infernape, I understand why he didn't. I'm gonna go for the Assist, go for V-Create, pray we target into Lily, because if we don't, we're actually gonna lose this game because we're gonna get a speed drop, which means Lily it's gonna outspeed me, and we're gonna lose. But thankfully we hit the Lele, crit does not matter, showdown players would be like, like, crit mattered, I'm max defense Lele, but no, that did not matter. Down goes Tapu Lele, and my opponent's gonna go for the Clear Smog. I'm not too sure why all these Moonguses are carrying Clear Smog. Probably because, like, Combine Feeny and, like, Belladrum Lax, like, minimize Chansey. I understand why they run Clear Smog, though it's just kind of weird to not see people running Sludge Bomb. But yeah, currently it's 1v1, bringing Inferno versus uh, Moongus. We can't even get Spore because of Electric Terrain. I'm, I'm assuming my opponent is a little more intelligent than that Smogon sucks guy, so he's not gonna go for Spore. I'm gonna go for Vikuri here against the Moongus and that's going to easily knock out the Amoongus and yes we're going to be able to win this battle with freaking V create assist Inferno absolutely wonderful and we're going to be able to just be able to win this battle with Inferno so that was a very good battle against Hannah and that was a very nice showcasing of this team Yes, guys, I did lose a lot with this team. I lost so many battles with this team. Half of the reason I lost is because I V created the wrong Pokemon, and I guess I could have uploaded those battles, but you guys already know, PokeTubers don't post their losses. So hopefully you guys enjoy this bit of a gimmicky VGC video, but let's be real, all my VGC battles, or let alone all my battles, are pretty much all gimmicky, so it's not too surprising to see me using a team like this in VGC. I do not recommend to use this team in VGC. Do not use this team in VGC, because one of the main reason why is because you can't choose who you target with assist v-curate so it's pretty much a coin toss and who you're gonna hit and usually you're gonna hit the wrong mon so just just a warning if you guys think i'm just gonna spam v-curate no it's not that simple okay because you don't know who you're gonna v-curate and when you're using delcaddy especially 
uh, that's very, very important. So keep that in mind if you do decide to use this team on Showdown. You're probably going to donate all of your LP to your opponent, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video regardless if you use this team or not. If you guys enjoyed this VGC video and really want to support my YouTube channel and what I do, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button as it really helps on my channel a lot more than you think. Helps the YouTube algorithm and helps get my videos out there in sub boxes because you know YouTube sub boxes are broken unless your channel is remotely successful. And I really appreciate all of you guys who take time out of your day to watch my video till the end. Leave a like and comment on the question of the day, which is going to be which Pokemon in the VGC format or group of Pokemon do you despise facing the most? Let me know in the comments down below which Pokemon in VGC give you the most trouble and you just despise facing against regardless of which team you bring. Now me personally, I cannot stand facing Rain in both singles and VGC. And Rain especially against this team is like an auto loss. Like some, some teams you can like pray you assist and target the right Mon or like outplay with Z Destiny Mon and Sharpedo. But with Rain, there's like no hook because Rain lowers your VKRA base power and like it outspeeds like everything on your team. Even after even if Sharpedo gets like a double protect, like that's pretty much the best way you can deal with Rain. Mega Swampert destroys this team pretty hard with Earthquake it ignores Follow Me. And it's just like Rain gives this team such huge difficulty. And Rain in general just gives me huge problems because when I like to use like gimmick stuff in VGC, freaking Rain just freaking smacks me every time. I am always facing Rain when I use this kind of stuff in the ladder and I like always lose to it and it's just kind of like devastating for me to deal with but let me know in the comments down below which Pokemon on VGC give you the most trouble and you just hate facing the most. If you don't play VGC you can just let me know in the comments in general which Pokemon you despise facing against the most. But that's going to be the question of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end of the video. I'll check you guys next time. Bye.